good evening everyone so today our topic for the discussion is compressors so the first question is uh, what is compressed air anyone who wants to explain what is compressed air first we will uh, try to complete everything from the dreamer package whatever the questions are present in dreamer package then if, if we have any uh, cross questions or any other questions that we can discuss then we will move on to those questions so uh, compressed air is a air which have high pressure than the atmospheric pressure and also have high temperature so, uh, how does the pressure and temperature increases in a compressed air because of what because of use compressor device Yes, uh, the, to increase, uh, the compressor is used because of uh, the molecules, the intermolecules becomes closely packed, right? Due to which the yeah, pressure yeah. increases. So we can say that air is made up of loosely, I don't think this question is come, going to come, but still, uh, air is made up of loosely packed molecules. So when we compress it, they become closely packed molecules and it increases the pressure along with the temperature. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what are the uses of compressors on board? Compressed air is used to start the oxygen engine and the main engine. I, I think it's 30 bar, I think. Okay, yeah. Then used okay. for uh, pneumatic, uh, various pneumatic tools and on board ship. Then for filters, uh, clean, cleaning filters, I think. Yes, for cleaning purpose and uh, for control valves, pneumatic control valves. And uh, for main engine, uh, the pressure that is required is 30 bars for cranking yeah, main yeah. engine. And for auxiliary yeah. engine, it is less, not 30 bars. I don't know the exact pressure. Does anybody? Uh, it's for main engine. Uh, 30 bars engine is for... It's for main engine. Anybody knows how much is the pressure required for cranking the auxiliary engines? I'll also try to search it. Does anybody know the answer? What is the pressure uh, what is required of compressor to crank the auxiliary engine? Fifty bars. Fifty bars is too high for uh, an auxiliary engine. The main engine is no, much bigger. Bar is than, yeah, the main engine is much bigger, right? So the value for auxiliary engine will be much smaller. Okay, so six bars. There's a website called Marine Engineering Online. So they are saying the compressor that gets to the auxiliary engine uh, in 30 bars, then it is reduced, the pressure is reduced to six bars by the help of a reduction valve. What is a reduction valve? I will find it. Yes, let me write down. Uh, what is the pressure in which the auxiliary engine is cranked? Like we know that 30 bars pressure is required to crank the main engine, right? So, how much pressure is required to crank the auxiliary engine? The answer is 6 bars. But okay. What is the reduction valve? I will find it. Auxiliary. Reduction valve. So, uh, can anybody explain the types of compressors? Reciprocating, rotary, and centrifugal. Yes. I think. Uh, Reciprocating is divided to single stage and multi stage. Yes, sir. And uh, I think we can also uh, explain here yeah, XL2. We can explain like we are explaining pumps. So, rotodynamic and uh, positive displacement. Today I was searching in a uh, in few websites, so I got maximum they were explained in this way. Rotodynamic, then positive displacement. In rotodynamic, we have centrifugal pump, uh, sorry, centrifugal compressors and axial compressors. And 
in uh, positive displacement we have a uh, reciprocating compressors and rotary compressors. In rotary compressors, we have uh, screw compressors and uh, gear compressors. And in uh, reciprocating, it's uh, single stage uh, compressors and uh, double stage. Also in reciprocating, we have a uh, single acting and double acting too. When the working fluid or working medium is acting on the both sides of the piston, then that's a double acting compressor we will discuss it later first the types i think we can explain in this way is it all right Visa? yeah yeah because in maximum website it is explained in this way so i think it's better to go with this way like once it's easier to remember too so, so it is same like pumps, no? pumps yeah yeah but uh there's uh, i couldn't find diaphragm uh, compressor so there, that's it that one is missing only reciprocating and rotary yeah okay, okay. yes uh, that comes under positive displacement compressors i will i will try to send the photo that i uh, got while i was searching it because in the photo it, every compressor is mentioned so i will share it in the group and the uh, rotary compressors comes under positive displacement compressors along with reciprocating compressors. So they have mentioned four types of reciprocating compressors. Single stage, double stage, and single acting and double acting. So what is single acting reciprocating compressor and double acting reciprocating compressor? Can anybody uh, give me the difference between both? So, In single acting compressor, uh, when the piston moves downwards, it sucks the air, and piston moves upwards, then air is compressed. In double acting compressor, when the piston moves downwards, the suction is also suction takes place, and also on the other side of the piston, compression is also takes place. And uh, when the piston moves upwards, uh, the uh, air get compressed, and other side suction takes place. Yes, that single uh, acting and double acting compressor. And uh, someone has message scroll uh, compressors. Bro, I don't uh, have any idea regarding scroll uh, compressors, but I will find it. And uh, can anybody explain the working of uh, rotary compressors? The explanation on the working of rotary compressors are not mostly asked in interviews, but still we should learn. Anybody wants to explain it? I think it's just like yeah. I'm not sure, but I think it's working on impeller. Is impeller is useful? In centrifugal uh, compressor, we have a impeller or a compressor. Uh, wheel. It has veins. Or it, it has veins. Yes. It has veins. Yeah. In centrifugal compressor, it has veins and it just uh, uh, works like a centrifugal pump, but with a much higher RPM. Got it. So the only difference is uh, the pump uh, runs in a lower RPM and the centrifugal compressor, the RPM is much higher. So let's uh, study the working of a can anybody explain the working of single stage air compressor? Anyone? In single stage air compressor, only one cylinder is used. Uh, so the suction and compression take place in only one cylinder. The pr pressure may be uh, very low that uh, multi stage compressor. Yes. Uh, we can also achieve higher pressures with the help of a single stage compressor but the disadvantage is that to achieve that uh, higher pressure a lot of work done will be required and we long strokes will be required yeah, long right? strokes will be required the compression ratio will be much higher so we can achieve the higher pressures but the work done will be much more that's why we prefer multi stage and we'll come to that question why we prefer what are the advantages of multi stage compressor and you are right yeah you can if this question is coming then you can also first uh, before explaining the working you can name the components of a single stage compressor that is the motor or it could be an engine too then the crankshaft then the connecting rod then the 
piston and the uh, cylinder liner and the valves. This is driven by motor or engine? Motor or engine, I have got both. So you can say both. Mainly, Which engine? It's mainly, uh, it will be a four stroke engine if it's uh, driven by four stroke diesel engine. Four stroke diesel engine. But on board, I think it's uh, compressor, the uh, only use, only motor is used. Motors, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what's the working of multi stage air compressor? Multi stage air compressor, uh, I will talk about the two stage air compressor. Then, two cylinders are used. First one is the uh, with the larger volume, second one is with the smaller volume. Uh, is right? Yes, correct. Okay, okay. In uh, first thing is the piston goes downwards, it sucks pressure. And then second stroke, the compress uh, compresses to uh, pressure, uh, let's say five bar. Then this uh, compressed air is passed through interco intercooler to reduce its temperature and increases density. Then this compressed air is passed through the high pressure cylinder. In high pressure cylinder, uh, same working uh, suction and compression. So that uh, pressure will be greater. Uh, it's, uh, it's It can be brought into 30 bar. And then this is passed through after cooler. After cooler reduces uh, the temperature of the air and increases density. And also after cooler is used to, uh, if, the, if the lubricating oil, uh, if it is went to the air tank, I think, then yeah, will be some corrosion take place, yeah. Yeah, air bottle. Uh, so uh, some blasting will be occur. It's, there is a chance for blasting, burning of the oil. So. If you reduce the temperature of the air compressor, uh, sorry, compressed air, uh, the uh, burning can be prevented. So, this is the working. So, uh, after cooler has two functions. First one to increase the density. By increasing the density, the mass of air is increased, right? So that we can use much higher uh, mass of air for cranking the engines. And second one is it acts as a fire hazard to prevent a fire hazard by reducing the temperature. If there will be any uh, leakage since splash lubrication is been taking place so there may be fear, some amount of lube oil that can enter into the air bottle so if the temperature of the compressed air will be much higher then explosion can take place so to prevent such kind of explosion it reduces the temperature and uh, uh, what's the function of uh, intercooler to reduce the temperature of the air and yeah. to increase the density. Yeah, to bring it to, it reduces the temperature by bringing it the temperature down to the ambient temperature, right? That's how the work done yeah, is yeah. saved. Then it increases the density of the air too. So if you see the PV diagram, in so how uh, the work done is saved, can you explain? I am not good in that. Yeah, I think we can explain it by a PV diagram. Anybody wants to explain uh, how the is the work done safe by using an intercooler? So I'll try to explain it uh, with the help of a PV diagram. I'll just search for PV diagram.
my screen visible so this is the pv diagram it's not exactly how uh, it is uh, taught in dreamer packet it's a little bit different but still so at first the compressed air gets into the first cylinder this is the low pressure cylinder so the suction valve opens here and then the discharge valve opens here in the low pressure cylinder then it goes to the it passes to the intercooler so this one is the intercooler this one is the intercooler and when it passes to the intercooler the temperature drops uh, the, it, it reduces the temperature of the air right so it brings the temperature down to the ambient temperature and as the temperature is down here actually it was isothermal compression taking place this one is the isothermal compression and this one is the adiabatic compression that we are getting and when the air passes through the intercooler the temperature drops and the iso the adiabatic line goes towards the isothermal line so in isothermal what happens the temperature remains constant right so when it passes through it the work done is saved then it goes to the second stage compressor Amson have I explained well with the diagram what's your input yes but you mentioned it isothermal compre isothermal what is it compression right isothermal yeah uh, sorry compression yeah iso yeah isothermal compression so interview interview may ask why why not isothermal compression and why only isentropy compression what would you say? Uh, if this question will come, I would say uh, it takes a very uh, large amount of time, right, to increase uh, to compress the air in isothermal because the temperature will be yes. constant. That's why. Yes, yes. As you increase the pressure, yeah. the temperature also rises naturally. But if you go to keep it like uh, temperature constant, will take a larger time, larger. which will lead to uh, running of the compressor more time. Okay, so this one will, mm. this much will be enough if we will cross question me, right? If I'll say, yes, yes, that, that much is enough. What you have told is correct. Yeah, okay, so the next question is after cooler done, intercooler done. I'm saying inter uh, moisture is also removed. Do you, do you have any idea how the moisture is uh, removed? There is air dryer before the suction, no suction in the first stage compressor. I heard of having an air dryer in before. Yeah, yeah. The... Me too. I have also heard it, and the moisture. I have also heard about drain tap. Have you heard anything about drain tap that is fitted after the drain. intercooler and uh, after cooler? Uh, where it is drain, drain cog is drain wall is fitted in the uh, bottle. In the bottle. In the bottle. In the bottle. Yeah, I have. Yeah, in the bottle it is fitted. I guess. Okay. I have seen uh, in a website that it was mentioned drain trap is fitted in the intercooler after the discharge too. That's why I was asking this question. So, in the intercooler? Yeah, after in the intercooler. The, yeah, after the intercooler towards the discharge side. That's okay. why the drain trap is fitted. Because since the temperature is dropping, right, so moisture formation will take place since the air has been cooled. So the drain traps collects the uh, moisture that is being formed but i don't have any idea how it how, what's the working of it and condensation or uh, condensation also take place yes yes that's what i was saying the temp since the temperature is dropping yeah okay so i think uh, nobody knows it right so we need to find it uh Meer, uh do you know uh, where is it fitted Drain trap, do you have any idea to remove the condensation? No, no, I don't have idea. Oh, okay. So the next question. Uh, why do you use a multi-stage uh, compressor? It's in air bottle. 
multi stage uh, compressor we use to to get high pressurized air and to reduce load uh, on air so if you wants to high pressurize not possible to take with one stage uh, compressor so we need to uh, two stage pressure and yeah uh, to reduce load on compressor and to yeah, that is the answer i think to reduce the size right yes yes no yeah to reduce the size we can say and uh, i think in single stage compressors too we can achieve a higher pressure right but with the length of the stroke yeah, will that, be much that, higher yeah right? that's why we don't use it but we can achieve higher pressures right so will it be correct if we we'll say to achieve uh, higher pressures because single stage also we are using uh, we can use it but the size will be much uh, bigger how how much pressure we can achieve uh, in two stage uh, two stage uh, compressor you are in the star side limit or yeah, the discharge side thing used in on board it, it the pressure is uh, in discharge size is 30 bars 30 bars so yeah so is it the maximum pressure or no, used in on board no this discharge discharge side pressure that's what i'm saying discharge side pressure is 30 bars is 30 and the intercooler is 7 bar i think yeah 5 to 7 bars we can say 4 to 7 bars like yeah. so how much stage compressor use on board ship multi stage compressor is used multi means uh, like more two than stage. two more, uh, Two stage. I think two, two stage. Right? Two stage. First cylinder it will be five bar. Second cylinder it will be thirty bar. Thirty bar. Yeah. Two stage compressor. Yeah. So uh, I hear. Okay. Yes, 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 yeah, I heard in Dreamer uh, videos that uh, seven bar and thirty bar. Yeah, it may the starting. Uh, I have seen in website somebody has mentioned four bars too. So it may vary, oh. but the main is 30 bars. If 30 the interviewer will ask, so can we say exact uh, the 30 or 7 or 4, something like that? Can we say? Can we say a range or something like for the first stage, it obtains a pressure of around 4 to 7 bar, and the after the second stage, obtains a pressure of around 23 to 30 bar. Can say like oh. So we can yeah. give this range, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Because Orvin has mentioned this. Oh, okay. After the second stage, he had mentioned 23 bars to 30 bars. 23 to 30 bars. Oh. I have one more question. Is, uh, is cooler only reduce pressure? Only reduce temperature? It will increase the density. density yeah. Increasing the density so the volume is also... It reduces the temperature, not pressure. Reduces the temperature. Yeah, temperature. So, what about pressure? Like, pressure we use that pressure. No, it is isobaric heat rejection. So, we, uh, it means we need 30 bar pressure to work. I not get you. No, I said like we only need to reduce temperature. Yeah, because if you see in the air bottle for a fixed volume, for a fixed volume, like if you hmm. consider around ten meter cube, so it'll be storing less if the temperature rises. That means density will also increase. Uh, sorry, density density will decrease. So you won't be able to store that much of mass in inside the air bottle. So what you do in in the two stage compressor, you have inter in intercooler in between two stages. So intercooler basically it, it increases the it makes the air denser going to the second stage and finally after the second stage since the temperature rises after the after you pressurize it so it becomes less dense after it goes into the air bottle it can be hazardous because high temperatures can be hazardous and also the density decreases so you have a aftercooler which cools this high temperature pressurized air and then it's sent to the air bottle. So it means if you wants to, if I wants to increase the density of air, we need to decrease the temperature. Yes, yes, yes. Or increase pressure. No, pressure is kept constant. So only need to decrease the temperature. To yeah, yeah. The it density. is isobaric heat rejection. You can see on the PV, no, as your surprise has shown those lines, straight lines. We have a P versus P. So uh, the intercooler uh, and aftercooler are straight lines. So those are isobaric heat rejection. 
Mm. And uh, the volumetric efficiency also increasing, right? That's why even the smaller second stage compressor, since the volume has been reduced. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, volume is also that point two, right? Uh, I'm not very sure about it. Volumetric efficiency. What What is the uh, definition for volumetric efficiency? And the volume before uh, intake or or after intake, I think. No, no, no. No definition is different. I think it is theoretical how much air you can store upon the maximum limit, like that. Yeah, you can see the compression, the compression. Volume the efficiency. We increase the density so that more amount of air can be compressed, right? Yes. The main thing is we increase, we decrease the temperature to. Uh, reduce the work done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in advantages, what are the points that we can use? If the question will come, what, why do we use a multi stage air compressor? One, to, we can reduce the re work done, then, second. Uh, to reduce load and to increase uh, and to re achieve high pressurized air. Two point only I recalling right now. To reduce the size of the compressor. Yeah, to reduce the size of the compressor and also to reduce thermal stresses. Right, if we are using a single stage, the high, much higher thermal stresses will be occurring since we are achieving higher pressure and temperature at a single stage. By cooling it down, we are reducing the temperature, so the thermal stress is generated will be much less, correct? Am I right? Uh, you can see yeah, that there is also cooling for the compressor, right? Compressor liners. I've seen cooling also for the liners, so you can't really tell that it has like thermal stress is enough. Okay. But it's not a heat engine, no? Okay. I, I'm not very sure, but uh, like, I can't be like because it's not combusting any fuel or anything, no, it's just compressing. Yeah, it's only which you won't try like more than 100 or something, it won't rise. Maybe 100, not 100 actually, like 60 or 50 or 60 something like that. They also have cooling for the uh, this, no, compressor liners. Yes, uh, one saying, thermal, saying thermal stresses will be a, like not a very good point. It's not like IC engine, you know, where you yeah. burn fuel for 800, 900 degrees Celsius. So there, there are thermal stresses. You have cooling water. Even for the compressor, we have cooling water. So saying thermal stress is not good. Oh. You can still confirm. You read it somewhere? Uh, uh, no, actually, I just thought it. Okay, okay. okay. Just thermal... stick to only two, two to three points that uh, the uh, it's more reliable to use two stage because we uh, divide the load on both the compressors and also work work. It can work consumed by the second compressor decreases, so that's enough. And also temperature reduction going to the second compressor. You can see like that. Since we are using intercooler now, so for the second stage, that means more denser air can go inside the so second compressor. Increasing the volumetric efficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Finally, increasing the volumetric efficiency. Okay. We'll stick to only three points. Okay. So, uh, then, uh, what are the safeties that are used on a uh, safety is, is a, a fusible plug relief valve, bursting disc, lube oil low pressure alarm and trip, water no flow alarm and trip, water high temperature alarm and trip, and a overload trip. Shall I try? Yeah, yeah. Low pressure cutout. High pressure cutout, low boil, low pressure cutout. Then we have bursting disc, fusible plug, water overload trip, water no flow trip, uh, water high temperature trip. But this first two one is for VCRs, I think. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's for VCR. 
no no uh, i'm just asking is it can be used for this compressor or only that is no, for I mean, vcr's compressor both the compressors what what what, what did you check the first two safety low pressure, pressure cutout, cutout. It's, low. it's for vcr uh, i got run this low pressure cutout. no no for VCR. i was also thinking can we use uh, this i was thinking also before can we no, use I'm not this sure about to it. स्पेसिफिकली फॉर दी एयर कॉम्प्रेस एक्चुअली but i am also confused regarding this one uh, low lew points low pressure cut out low pressure, pressure cut out not mention it right no no got it that is you will no pressure alarm and trick okay okay, okay. Yes. first they'll give you alarm and then it will trick trick out the compressor you yes. can also say cut off no no harm in saying cut off can we use the, uh, can we say this two point this one sorry I said, can we use this two point uh, for normal compressor, not VCR's compressor? Two points means which two uh, points? Uh, low, LP low, cut, low cut out and HP cut out. I think we should not even use it. Should we use it? We we shouldn't use it, right? Low pressure cut out and high pressure cut out. No, no, those are not here. Those are not here. They're, those are only used in VCR's. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Those okay. are VCR's safeties. Okay, okay. Sorry. So, uh, one more question is uh, uh, what is the use of compressed air on board ship so it's used for uh, cranking the main engine at 30 bar and used for cranking the auxiliary engines at uh, 6 bar and uh, used for cleaning purposes which purpose cleaning cleaning purposes and uh, also used for uh, used in pneumatic uh, valves pneumatic control valves Where where is it to use pneumatic valve? Pneumatic valve, uh, like diaphragm pump. Oh, the actuation, actuation pump. Actuators, yeah, actuators. Ah, okay. Okay, I think this. Pneumatic tools are, also there, na? Yes, pneumatic tools also there. Yes. But uh, I don't have much idea about pneumatic tools. What kind of pneumatic tools are used on board? Do you have any idea? I also know, know, but uh, I have heard it. Where the fusible plug used in compressor? It's, location. Uh, location is uh, before the air bottle, right? In the discharge side, after the air, uh, this one after cooler. It used in after cooler. No, no, no. After the after cooler, before uh, in the discharge side, like, before the air bottle. Right? It is. It is. It is generally located on discharge side of a compressor. Discharge side. And uh, which is yes, which is fitted on the air bottle. Okay. okay. Uh, so you mean final pressure? pressure. You mean you mean final pressure? Final. Final. Pressure. You mean final discharge side? You mean the? Yes, yes. yes. After after a cooler. Yes, yes. After. So we can say directly that it's fitted in the air bottle, right? Or should we say that in the discharge side before the air bottle? Because I have got both answers. I think it's in the air bottle only. Air bottle, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, prevents from explosion if there is any high temperature or something in the air bottle. It can be hazardous. It like low boil pressure. <laughs> like low boil gets carried from the compressor to the air bottle. No, it can be hazardous. High temperature, so the air bottle can burst. But uh, as we, uh, in Gwalior, we know fusible plug is used to put off the fire. So what what uh, like uh, use of fusible plug in 
in compressor what is the use of same i think you should plug in low water cut off sorry it's same or different uh, what was the question paisa yes, can you repeat it once more fusible plug and uh, in boiler there is no fusible plug now it's no in it's boiler no water. we have fusible plug no in water level it's same yeah. now can you please repeat type of compressors because i have still doubt in type of compressors yeah i was searching today for the types of compressors uh, but uh, in maximum usage it was just like pumps like roto dynamic compressor and positive displacement compressor in roto dynamic i centrifuge centrifugal and axial and in yeah, just like pumps <laughs> yeah yeah just like pumps right okay but i think diaphragm is not there and in reciprocating there are four different compressors right single acting double yes, acting single acting double acting diaphragm first stage diaphragm. second stage yeah yes, yes, yes. but uh, in my graduations book uh, there is uh, classifications of compressors and there are two types one is positive and second is non uh, positive displacement compressors so in positives there are subdivided into reciprocating uh, reciprocating rotary gear compressors and screw compressors but when i checked on online sites uh, more than uh, i think 5 7 sites they have shown that uh, positive displacements are reciprocating and in reciprocating they subdivided it to it in single acting double acting diaphragm and in rotatory they subdivided it into loop scroll liquid ring uh, screw vane and in dynamic uh, they uh, subdivided it into centrifugal and axial but on uh, other side uh dynamic is also subdivided into three sides uh three type of compressors like first one is centrifugal uh second is axial and third is mixture but in my book uh, there are only two type of uh, non uh, positive displacement uh, compressors one is uh, centrifugal and second is ejector compressor or steam jet compressor so which one is sh should be considered look uh, wait i have i have share share this yeah, yeah you can directly share the screen or uh, you can uh, share that in our group so friends i think it's same like the, this no pump right yeah 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 I mean, is it uh, i also think is it visible to all wait uh, yeah it's see. visible like uh, as you can see that uh, there is positive yes. displacement yes. and yes. dynamic theek hai or uh, if you uh, go to other side yeah. Share this one. Okay, yeah, uh, share it again. Look, guys, look. Uh, uh, in this rotary compressors are also divided in two: rotary screw and rotary vane. and on third site which my uh, which i am talking is which uh, in which dynamic compressors are divided into three uh, compressors let me share you oh, that site just a moment i think safra those are enough no which you so have done Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we can directly go with uh, those because yes, uh, he is right. We have stall compressors and uh, these compressors, but that will be if you will name them, then what if the cross question will come like explain yeah, yeah, this? Yeah. So I don't yeah, want to mention it. Rutik, yes, yes. uh, in your Anglo interview or a uh, Great Eastern or such, uh, uh, have they asked this question? Yes, yes. Types of yes. compressors. So what did you explain? Yes, Send this to the diagram. Okay. Yes. Same and as pump. Okay. And also, I have mentioned one uh, compressor that was liquid ring compressor. It yes. was rotary compressor. Liquid ring compressor. Yes. What is it? I, I have just read it before interview. Okay. Somewhere. Okay. Yes. So if you will go just like pumps, uh, it will be enough, right? And if, uh, is there a diaphragm compressor? Uh, yes. 
it is reciprocating in the direction. So, uh, how diaphragm are like flexible uh, diaphragms, right? So, how is it able to yes. compress it? Uh, it, it is uh, having one sketch. You get, a, get to know it. You need to search it on Google. Why? See. Possible. Yeah, uh, dynamic compressors yes. are also divided into three uh, types of compressor axial, centrifugal, and mixed flow. So, I which one is to be considered? I think let's. Keep it minimum. I main in every I have checked like every testimonials of every interview, they mainly ask multi stage, right? Am I right? Mainly ask multi stage and then goes into the cross question like safety. You know. So I think if we are explaining it, we can explain it like pumps. I think it will be alright. Okay, right, I understand. Okay. Okay, so because less, in, less in website, uh, in many websites, there are very different types of uh, compressors. So I think we don't need to go in depth in those because if you will name them, then he may cross question. Please explain this one. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, so uh, can anybody explain the safety? Uh, like no flow, uh, what was the safety? No flow, no flow. Still, I didn't get the answer for my doubt. Okay, what was the question? In boiler, uh, they are using low water level shutdown. Nah? Yeah, it's yeah. not fusible plug. No, fusible plug is also it's... fitted in boiler, right? At the crown but of the, in the nodes, uh, there is no fusible plug. No, fusible plug is used to put off the fire in the furnace when the water level goes below the working uh, level. So that is the use of yes, fusible plug. Low water yeah. level shutdown. What is no, used for? No, it's no, I don't think it's a safety. No, no either. Safety. Wait, either yes, your fusible question is correct. Or either low water level shutdown is can't use both. Can't use both. Ashish have sent me the notes. In the notes, it's saying low water level shutdown. Where is no fusible plug I, in boiler? I read like water level indicator only. No water level shutdown. Yes, I only did what I have seen it. Yeah, I'm also confused now. If you uh, see the PDF, boiler mounting a water level indicator, two water level indicator, or I don't know what shutdown about water shutdown level is shutdown. Also fitted, right? Uh, and fusible plug too, but whether both are fitted, that one I also I am also confused. Is both fitted? Both which one? Water level indicator and as... uh, no 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 indicator in... will be there in every boiler. Water level shutdown and uh, fusible plug. Only one will be fitted, no? Because even Professor yes. has mentioned only one. one. So in a normal boilers in on which which are on the uh, ground you have fusible plug. Mostly on the ship we have low water level shutdown. So either one will be used. So the main purpose is only temperature. Like if the water falls below a certain limit, either should activate. So only uh, some, it is useless using both of them. Both, yeah. Obviously. Because the function is same, right? Function is if same, yeah, yeah. Water level because, is decreasing, uh, it will melt. Feasible alloy will yeah. melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. What is the uh, like component that is being used that uh, in fusible plus? Because I have got two different answers for the component. Do you know the answer, Amsterdam? Alloy of tin, no, or lead. Uh, I know which uh, one. Wait, the I outer have a metal, the outer metal which is cylindrical, made out like gun metal or any yeah, uh, yeah. bronze, and inside the threaded part is made of alloy of tin or uh, these things, tin or lead, which melts at around 229 to 232 degrees Celsius. Today, uh, in one website, I got 50% bismuth, 30% tin, and 20% lead, and it was a marine-related uh, website. Copper, lead. Tin yeah, and tin. Yeah, I was saying not to mention all those compositions, just mention alloy of tin or lead or something like that. One is gun. What was what is the outer shell of the that threaded cylinder? Yeah, yeah, it is gun metal, bronze or brass. These these are the metals I know. Okay. Gun metal, bronze or brass. Brass. And inner one? Inner one you can say is an alloy of tin or lead. It melts it around 229 to 232 degrees Celsius. And uh, when what's the temperature you told? Two thirty-two degree for lead. 
lead or tin alloy. I got it 105 degrees Celsius. Melting point of the fusible alloy. Uh, pardon? I got it uh, today. I was searching it, uh, so I got it 105 degrees Celsius. The melting point. So, for what tin tin base? Uh, this one is tin. Yeah. Okay, okay. Actually, uh, did Actually, you it's for lead, lead, I think. Check uh, for lead, the melting. I point. think temperature is varies from like if you saw the uh, blog uh, from the power plant, so maybe the temperature is different or steep uh, has different pressure. Maybe, yeah. Temperature. Jack, what do you want so to say the... something? Yes. Yes, please go. He is asking about why is there is a fusible boiler. Why? If the water yeah. level will go down, right? So that when the water level goes down because of the heat, or oh yeah, it is fitted in the bottom of the steam dam, right? At the, uh, the crown of the uh, combustion chamber. So when the water level goes down, the fusible alloy melts and that creates a thorough channel, right? So the water or vapors that is being present will go down into the combustion chamber and it will extinguish the fire, right? Then what is the purpose of low water level? That's, that's what we are That's what either we are one one. Either, I think either one will be used. Crown of the Anyone knows about boiler? Crown plate of a furnace in a boiler. Okay. So no, the notes no, it's also said that uh, fusible plug is used for the thermal stations. Wait, uh, anyone studied about the boiler? I Guys, think anyone studied. Yeah. How many safety walls are there in the boiler? Two safety walls. Two safety walls. How many water level indicators are there? Two. Two. What was Two. the purpose? If one so fails, there. no, if one fails, another will work, like that only. It's you for the safety also there. Yes. For the gauge glass, if to compare the readings, if yeah. any block or something is, coming in. That is exactly the same. If low level water level alarm and trip fails, this will work, will do the job. Usually two are provided, okay. because if one fails, the other will work. Okay, so both, you are saying both are uh, used, right? Yes. Visual plug and low water level. Okay. If one fails, the other one will work. And Ruthik, can you explain yeah. the uh, where it is fitted? Because okay, it's fitted in the furnace. Like at the top of the furnace, is it connected with the water drum? Oh, sorry, steam drum. Uh, yes. And the fusel bug temperamenting temperature will vary according to the composition of the metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Very yeah, according to. Usually, fusel plug is a threaded like cylinder device, uh, which is tapered from inside. Uh, inside that is a low melting material, low melting point material is present inside. It gets melts. As the, and creates the passage from which the air is accessed or removed. Yes. So, uh, on difference between both uh, is fusible plug works on temperature and bursting this works on higher yes, pressure, sir. right? Yeah. Okay. But he asks the temperature also, Brajanza, sir, in Anglo. Bust. Busting this for temperature? Both pressure and temperature. For busting this? Yeah. Is it right? Yes. So, temperature also works on busting this? I think that... Uh, uh, what if the temperature increase above. of the air pressure will increase, right? No, no. Uh, temperature is also because the material used to make the brushing disc is uh, brass and copper. So uh, there is also uh, some temperature. Brushing disc has a thin layer of copper, which yeah. will burst. So is it necessary? Uh, uh, is it uh, it will burst uh, with temperature or pressure only? 
how is the birth both. date taking place regarding only uh, due to pressure or both but he bursting, asked both that's why i'm asking bursting takes place of pressure but it will actuated by the temperature only temperature will melt not burst you, you didn't understand the concept what if the temperature increase yeah the pressure is the yes mani prasad you want to change on this no no sorry i'm sorry burst in this working on pressure if the pressure is high burst in this will burst that's now yeah you see we're working on temperature if, if temperature. the temperature is above 105 degrees celsius i think it will uh, melt my question was feasible plug what is the use of feasible plug in compressor so it the function is that it's fitted in the air bottle so if when because splash lubrication takes place in uh, compressors there may be uh, some amount of lube oil that can enter into the air bottle right so if the temperature of the air will be much higher explosion can takes place So it will melt because of pressure or temperature. Fusible plug will melt because of temperature. Tem- temperature. Temperature. Higher temperature. Air is getting into the air bottle, so it will just melt and release the uh, air that is being sucked. Oh. Uh, check what can you explain? Uh, the fusible plug in uh, boiler. Uh, sorry. Uh, hello. What was the question? Yeah, can you explain this one uh, regarding the pressure and uh, temperature? Because I still have some doubt. Busting this. I studied if the temperature increase, pressure increase, the pressure so the busting this will burst. Okay, okay. So yes, you are right. If pressure is increasing, the temperature is also increasing, right? So we saw that first I studied in the bursting disk about the air starting wall explosion. Mm-hmm. There is temperature because of fire. The pressure will increase, so the bursting disk will burst. Okay. I studied like this only. Okay, And can anybody explain the no flow uh, safety device that is fitted? Water no flow. Water no flow. Can I explain what is it? M- maybe the pump that is used to uh, it will not. No, no. It's work. in the intercooler. Intercooler. If the water is uh, right of flow, water is very low, then uh, this happens. Sorry, uh, about what we are talking about? Water no flow safety device, right? I. Uh, Incompressor. 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 Yes, jackpot. You want to say something? If there is no water flow, like if there is a jacket cooling in the compressor also in the intercooler also, if water flow is not there, temperature will not reduce. That's why they are giving no flow alarm. It will first alarm, then it will trip. Okay. So where is it fitted? Intercooler. 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 Inter- 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 I have. Inter and after cooler both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if the attached pump is not working and the flow water inside the intercooler is not enough to form to cool the compressor, then the moving force inside the compressor will get seized, and uh, due to the overheating, it will get seized. So okay. the no flow trip is provided, which will cut off the compressor. We already have a cooling water high temperature trip. So why a water no flow trip required over there? Yeah. Yeah, I understand this question. High temperature is different. No flow is different. But the temperature will still increase, right? If there will be no flow. Yes. So the water high temperature trip is uh, like if the that only the... trips the compressor. Okay. No flow will give only alarm. Okay, it will give only alarm. Okay. 
and high temperature will give an alarm then it will cut off right yes so hot place uh, hot temperature will increase water high temperature one because uh, just uh, ruptic explained right if the pump is not working the water less uh, water will be treated then the temperature will increase any other reasons check what do we have any other reasons because of the increasing of water temperature no so only because of that reason right or maybe uh, if uh, clogging will it take place clogging oh so we can on, we have only one reason right is it rustic we have any other reason because of temperature increasing of water Usually when the flow of water is less, the flow is less. Okay. Okay. So any other safety that we need to uh, study today? Water flow. Motor overload. Uh, can we? Uh, can anybody really explain the motor overload? How does it work? If the current taken by the motor during running or starting is very high, then there is a possibility of damage to the motor. So this helps to trip the motor if overloading is happens. So, uh, how will be the current flow increase in the motor? First of all, to rotate the compressor because of the initial torque required. I think so. Or no, no, it's is you are matching the question just like uh, centrifugal pump when we shut the will we not sh uh, shut the discharge valves? No, I have read like that. For rotating everything, I think uh, the starting torque is required, right, to bring it to a fix RPM for anything. Yes, Jackpot. So, so it's not mean the uh, load will increase. We have unloaded while the starting and discharging. What's the function of the unloader? It will reduce the high current. It reduces because of the, the torque required. No, the question yeah. is why when the that... load will increase. Wait, wait. He is. Uh, uh, I have read somewhere uh, unloader to yeah. build. Each and every motor needs a high torque while they are starting. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I get it. So how does but it? But I'm not satisfied. How does it uh, reduces? It will open the discharge hole. It will not close the discharge hole. So no okay, okay, compression okay. takes place. By open, uh, no by compression. Opening the, okay, getting now. Yes, by opening the discharge hole. Okay. And uh, so no compression, no load. Okay. So, uh, Mir, you got the answer? Yeah, but not completely satisfied. Because, uh, like uh, the overload, if we take the example of centrifugal pump, mm -hmm. so uh, there is uh, if we if we we'll, if we will not shut the uh, discharge valve, it then the load will increase. So in the in the centrifugal uh, pump, so why com uh, in compressor the load will increase? We no need to shut the uh, this uh, discharge side of comp uh, discharge valve of compressor. Like See, why? So what is the everything? A initial torque is required, right? To bring it from a stationary to a fixed RPM, there will be higher current drawn. In case of every motor, right? Am I right? So the why? Like component is uh, the system is made to, uh, made like I mean. For example, if something is give to uh, like overload trip, so it means it will over it will load will increase with uh, due to some reason, not because to start. He is saying that he, yeah yeah Jackpot please yeah. Unloader is only using during the starting and middle okay. 
Okay, it, uh, it is used in middle too. Why is it used in middle? Due to water overloads. What is the water overloads? Okay. Okay. Due to any chokes, any the passage problems. Okay, then the unloader, unloader uh, comes into play. It will open the discharge valve. So the compression is not taking place. So if there is no compression yes. taking place, so the load will be decreasing, right? That's why the current yeah, load will also decrease. Because oh. of choke, oh. you said. Okay, okay, okay. It might be choke, it might be a condensed water okay, okay. because water is incompressible, the load will increase. Okay. And busting, yeah, okay. is, it may be uh, do you have any uh, question regarding this one? None. Okay, so bust, what is the material used in busting this? Copper, right? Copper, Copper and brass. Brass too, okay. Okay, so motor overload trip done. So uh, the safeties that are being used are busting this fusible plug, motor overload trip, no uh, flow. What is it? No flow. Water no flow trip, right? For alarm. In, in VCRS. Water no flow alarm. No, for compressors. Water oh, yeah. no flow. Yes, water it no is flow. water no flow. Water no, no flow water alarm no flow. and trip. It, it is only alarm, right? Water high temperature. Water is high it temp only alarm? Okay. Okay. Water high temperature. Water no flow is only alarm, okay. not trip. Okay. High temperature, trip and alarm. Water high temperature, trip and alarm. What is the material used for the compressor? Cast iron. Also, don't know. Uh, anybody knows the material used for compressor? Let me search it too. In engine, cast iron is used, so maybe in Mostly compressor is, also. Cast iron or aluminium, yes. Okay, okay. One of the two materials, cast iron or aluminium. In multi stage, uh, mostly aluminium is also used because of the size and it reduces the weight too, that's why. Is there any uh, other questions regarding compressors that has been asked in interviews earlier? Ruthik, do you have any questions that you can uh, give it to us regarding compressors? Yes, Jackpot. What was the purpose of three stage compressor in our day? Three stage compressor. Yes. Is it same like second stage compressor? Two stage compressor? Can we say the same uh, reasons? It has more higher pressure. Okay, it has more higher pressure. So Where is it in power plant? In ship, I am asking. I am an interviewer asking questions to you. In two stage compressor, there is a high pressure. Sorry, uh, high pressure uh, cylinder and low pressure cylinder. So, in three stage, uh, what will be the cylinders? In onboard, we use two stage, right? Or three stage? Two stage, two stage. Two stage. We, use, we use three stage also. Okay, we use three stage too. Okay. So, if high. You don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. Sir. Why are we using three stage? Anyone knows about Skaba? Yes, CDA. Uh, Ruthik, do you have any uh, knowledge regarding scrubber? Scrubber, right? Yes, CBA. Yes, CBA. Yes, CBA, SEBA or SCBA or SEBA? It's a acronym, you can say SCABA. Okay. In turbocharger, uh, in marine turbocharger, what kinds of compressor we use there? We use centrifugal compressor. Wheel, right? So it will be compre centrifugal compressor. And regarding SCBA, I have no idea. The thing is also... It it's self-containing breathing apparatus used to firefighting. Oh. Okay. okay. Rescue someone. Okay. With that uh, oxygen tank and all, is it that one? 
It's not oxygen tank, it's a compressed air only. What was the pressure you know? Used in it's 200. 200. 200 bar. 200 bar. Kaba. Kaba, okay. The compression will, ratio will be 1 to 6. Is this one asked in any interviews? Might be. Okay. Be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good if you uh, prepare it. Yes. Because on board we are going, we are going to be using it, right? They, I don't know. They will ask about the three stage compressor. I don't know, but they will ask definitely ask about Scaba okay. because of the safety, yes. firefighting, rescuing. Correct, correct. So we need to study Scaba here. Any other questions? Because I don't have any other questions regarding compressors. Finish everything. And this. Take points from Amson was joining, but then he left. We could have asked him the question. Jack, what do you want to say something? What was the question? The question was here uh, in Barnoli's, uh, like in centrifugal pump. This one. Thing. 